The Smart Notebook Recorder is a tool that is built into Smart Notebook software. You do not need to be connected to a smart board to use it to create a screencast, nor do you need to be within Smart Notebook software to use this tool. It is a great feature that is available to teachers and students for creating screencasts easily and quickly. For this first example, let me actually go outside of Notebook to show you how to turn on your Smart Recorder to complete a screencast for a program outside of Smart Notebook. The Smart Notebook Recorder is located in the Smart Notebook Tools, and typically you'll find those in your system tray. It's the icon that looks like the white donut. Because I am not connected to a smart board, mine has a red X through it. I can simply select that tool and select Recorder. And you'll see in the upper right hand corner of my screen, the Smart Notebook Recorder has appeared. If you don't have the smart tools in your system tray, I'll show you how to find the Smart Notebook Recorder another way. Simply go to your Start menu, choose All Programs, navigate to your Smart Technologies folder, and within that folder, you will see the link to launch the Smart Recorder. The drop down menu next to the Record button allows you to decide which area you want to record. For this example, I'm going to record the entire desktop. As soon as I have selected that, Smart Notebook Recorder starts recording and all the actions, everything that is shown on the screen will be recorded. So I can show my students how to create a new Prezi, how to give it a title, and every action that I complete on the screen along with my narration will be recorded. I can pause if I need to, bring up a different screen, and use the record button to continue my recording. When I'm finished, I just select the stop button. Immediately I'm prompted to name the video file and decide where I want to save it. I receive a message when the recording has successfully been processed and if I would like to, I can play the recording to see how it looks. As soon as I've selected that, Smart Notebook Recorder starts acting. Looks great. Now I'll show you how you can use Smart Notebook Recorder within Notebook and record just one area of the screen. If you select the menu button at the top, you will also see some options that you can adjust. I typically leave the recording quality at standard. And if you go to the video format tab, you can decide if you want to record in WMV format or AVI format. AVI format is a little bit higher quality and will take up a little bit more storage space on your computer. If you want to include a watermark on your videos, you can go to the watermark tab and you can upload your own image. Everything looks good to me, so I'm going to select OK. But this time when I use the drop down menu, I'm going to select a specific window that I want Smart Notebook to record. I'm then prompted to select the window I'd like to record. And you can see I have basically three options. I want to record just this center area without the toolbars, so I'm going to select this area by clicking with my mouse. And immediately up in the corner, I can see that the recording has started. Every action that I now complete in Notebook will be recorded. So I can use the pen tool and create a sample problem. If I'm working in my classroom, I can start the Smart Recorder and have a student come up to try and solve this problem. And when I'm finished, just as with before, I simply select the stop button and I'm immediately prompted to save my video file. You may have noticed that both of the file types for recording these videos, WMV and AVI, are Windows formats. So these videos are not very accessible to your students who might have Macs at home who would be referring to these lessons later. So I highly recommend that to make your videos accessible, you then take your video files, switch over to YouTube, and upload your content simply by using the upload button and selecting the files from your computer. In this way, you can post the link to your video or better yet, embed it on a website or within a learning management system tool such as Schoology.